If you have no clue what the hell is digital fashion, welcome to my video, because we're in the same boat. Speaking of fashion. You probably have seen these floating closes on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, maybe MySpace. And if you were like me, you probably thought it was just a gimmick for the kids. You know, one of those like fun illustrations, fun animations, and whatever. But apparently that's called digital fashion. So in this video, we're gonna talk about digital fashion. Yo, it took me a lot of time to figure out what the hell is digital fashion. I still don't fully get it. But let's start with Wikipedia. Digital fashion is a visual representation of clothing built using computer technologies and 3D software. And they attached the photo that was the perfect representation of digital fashion in my opinion. You be the judge. So lately, I have seen a lot of articles, including on Forbes, including on this mainstream media. I have seen a lot of videos on TikTok. These companies open up their TikTok accounts and they explain and whatever, whatever. From my understanding, no one actually gets it because I left this comment on one of the digital fashion brands videos where they basically showed how digital clothes look like. I was like, what the hell is that? I just put it in the comments, I don't get how it works. And my comment within one day got almost 400 likes. 400 likes. So that means I'm not the only person who doesn't know what the hell is digital fashion. So I went out of my way to research what are the digital brands out there. From my understanding, there's two or three main digital brands. One of them is DressX.com and the other one is Fabric Hunt. The way these companies work and the way their products work is you go to their websites and you see this variety of clothes. They all are digital, of course. You press add to the card, whatever clothes you like, just like in regular shops. And then this is the part where it gets a bit tricky. You upload your photo and you buy a piece of clothes for $50 per t-shirt, let's say. And then you get your photo back with the t-shirt put on your photo, but you don't get the actual t-shirt. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, I know it's kind of confusing. So basically someone photoshops a t-shirt on your existing photo and you pay for that product. Hopefully that is understandable. I'm a really bad explainer. Or as of recently, I saw that you can make videos with virtual clothing and this is how it looks like. Tell me it doesn't look good. So from my understanding of reading interviews of the CEOs of these companies, the main point of making these digital brands is for the sustainability. Fashion industry is one of the most polluting industries in the world. Just for you to look cute, Oceans are suffering, nations are suffering, kids are suffering, environment is suffering. So these brands took this problem and made digital fashion as a solution for them. And in general, that's a really good cause. I actually support the idea of digital fashion. I believe in the idea of digital fashion in some way. I'm gonna explain it later. And I do believe that will be part of the future. What I don't believe is when these CEOs or whatever, people who give these interviews, they say it's, it's the future of closing. It's the this, it's the that. It's it's so like futuristic. This is gonna be five years. I don't know about that. To be honest, I really don't believe that. Let's start with some of the reasons. Why these pieces of clothes are so hella expensive. I get it. Some of them like designers actually set and design these pieces and blah 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 so designer makes one product so why the hell a person buys a t-shirt for $60 it's only for one photo it's not that sustainable of you to sell a t-shirt for $60 for one photo you know where I'm coming from and designers aren't even like Dolce Cabana or Armani or Versace or something like that it's just a regular regular like like good designers why the hell they're selling t-shirts for $60 dresses for thousand dollars suits for two thousand dollars it doesn't really make sense number two it looks bad y'all like i'm i am so sorry it looks horrible like it looks bad there was like one or two photos like and i've seen like thousands i was like scrolling i was like i have to find like good like photos for my video like because i just wanted to put them somewhere here i just couldn't and we're not even going to go to the videos like the photos i think it's so simple to put a piece of clothes on a photo to make it look good i just think the execution is really bad. It just looks so freaking fake. Like, look at, look at some of these pictures. It looks horrendous. It looks weird and it looks cheap. 
Like, you know what I mean? Like, it looks childish. It doesn't look creative or it doesn't look futuristic. It just looks childish. Like, I have no words. When I saw these videos, I was like, this is, this cannot be real. Like, this is horrendous. I like the idea and I like the, the overall, like, vision of it. I just don't think this is the way to go. Like, yeah. They look horrible, like, no offense. I feel like it needs way more perfection. I, I don't like companies that charge, you know, that charge people for unfinished technology. Like if you sell a product, the product better be good, right? Especially if it's like $60 for a t-shirt, the product better be good. And I noticed the harder the piece gets, for example, it's not a t-shirt, some suits, some dresses, some head pieces, it just started getting more ridiculous and more ridiculous like in 1990s where the you know they were trying to make that cgi like look and it just it looked funny and finally i just think this is not for regular people like me and you people who go to a job people who go to a friend's birthday people who just go out to parks people who just you know go to vacation once a year this is not for us this is for influencers this is for like W level celebrities, like D list celebrities. This is for them because they make a living by posting Instagram photos, right? Right. I am sure this is influencers or like D list celebrities, they buy specific clothes for one photo. And I also seen somewhere there's no reference, so that 9% of retail just gets refunded. So basically, people buy and then they take for a photo and then they return the piece, right? So it's kind of good for that. So you can just, for example, buy one piece of digital clothes, you upload your photo, you get your photo back, you put it on Instagram, you get your likes, and that's it, move on. Why would a regular person need that? Why, why would I need to buy a digital piece of clothes and have the photo of it? I am not a celebrity. I am not a media person. I'm not a president. Why would I need to have a digital piece of clothes? Therefore, or I just feel like it's kind of over-exaggerated. You know where I'm coming from? I, I feel so horrible for saying this. I just feel like this is a gimmick. I don't think there is a, a bigger, like this huge thing, like everyone's gonna be like digital closing and digital closing. If that would be the case, I feel like the only way for that would be that these huge brands like H&M, Zara, Urban Outfitters, and blah, 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 they make their own like extremely, extremely affordable digital fashion. What I mean by that is these brands like H&M, Zara, Urban outfitters nike adidas probably will have to make a subscription based service where they for example would charge not a big amount of money like five dollars per month and per month you can just pick whatever piece of item you want to like for example you pick a zara t-shirt you pick the zara t-shirt you put it on your photo and you post to your Instagram and the photo better look good. The photo better look real, not cartoonish, not cheap, not weird. It better look real. And that's it. You pay $5 per month, not $50 per t-shirt. Because otherwise I really don't get how, like the mass is not adding to me. Some of those pieces cost $1,000. Why would they have such value? I don't believe the technology that they use to put the virtual closing on the photo is that damn expensive. I just don't believe that. There's nothing in this world that will convince me that is extremely, extremely expensive to put a closing on a photo. That is a possible way I feel like it will work out. But something that's, I think, more forthcoming is... Have you noticed how these Instagram filters, Snapchat filters are just getting better and better? Like some of these filters are insanely good. Like they put art pieces on your face and it, it's just, it looks real. It, it just looks good. It looks funny. And like before, like a two years ago, the filters look insane. It looked horrendous. I mean, there were some dog filters and that's it. But now what would stop Instagram and Facebook and Snapchat of just making filters, but on a full on body? What would stop them of making like filters with clothes or something like that and they wouldn't probably charge anything because their money comes from people sitting on these platforms right i feel like that makes a bit of more sense to me i can guarantee you if this whole digital fashion thing will go off as people say it will there are gonna be a lot more players and it's not gonna be like it is now people will not spend 300 dollars on a dress that does not exist just for it to be photoshopped on a photo, even a video. But the videos I've seen look horrible. I just feel like this is not for regular people. And I feel like the middle to lower class people are always gonna be in disadvantage of this stuff. Like this is, this is for privileged people, you know what I mean? I'll go to work on Monday. Do you want me to go in a digital fashion? Anyways, 
I just found this topic extremely interesting. I'm I'm looking forward to how it will go. I feel for now the only solution would be thrifting and recycling. So if you have anything to add to this topic or you want to see more from me, just write in the comment section below. I will obviously respond it because I have like one or two comments per whole week. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.